Hi guys. So I wanted to tell you something that happened to me today. I was uh, reading an article and sorry, just a minute. I came across the word niche and as soon as I read that word, all of a sudden I was thrown into a vision where I saw this man in kind of like a darkened room a little bit. And he said, all we need to do is wait for the code word niche. And all of a sudden I was back in my reality. It's like I had an open vision. I went and I heard that man say that. And then I was back. <laughs> reading my article. So I thought, what was that? And I, I looked at my daughter and I said, did we just watch a movie with this phrase in it? And she said, no. And then I thought, well, did I dream of this? And I'm, I'm calling this dream to mind. I don't know what it was, but that's what I heard. It was, all we need to do is wait for the code word niche. Okay, so then I went to study the word niche and I'm going to give you some of the definitions and I wanna tell you what I'm understanding about this. Niche, an ornamental recess in a wall or the like, usually semicircular and arched as for a statue or other decorative object. The next definition I want to give you is to place a statue in a niche and sconce, guys, and sconce. So I want to take you to the word ensconce, to ensconce oneself, niche, okay? N uh, ensconce. Let's see if I can get there. To settle securely or snugly. To cover or shelter, hide securely. Sconce, of course. You guys know what sconce is. What did I just see? <laughs> I thought I just saw the word fork. A small detached fort or defense work as to defend a pass or a bridge. I didn't read this earlier. To protect or shelter a small detached fort or defense work. Okay, guys, I gave you the word castling the other day. Castling, it's all about fortification and fortify, okay? Um, a castle is a fortification, like my city here, Fort Myers. At one time, it was a, a fort, okay? Okay, so ensconce is to conceal and abscond. Guys, I want you to pay attention to what to what these words mean, okay? And a sconce, of course, is a bracket for candles or other lights placed on a wall, a mirror, or a picture frame. So think of our tuning fork or our menorah, okay? A bracket for candles and other lights placed on a wall, mirror, or picture frame. Okay. The root idea here is fortification and abscond, okay, which is fits perfectly with what I'm seeing. So the root word of the word niche, you guys, is nest, okay? I feel like the dove is coming to roost, you guys, okay? And a nest is some place, obviously, where a bird makes 
branches and mud and lays his eggs in the nest, okay? It's also, you guys, a place for insects and spiders where they lay their eggs. The spider lays its eggs and then like wraps them up or something. That's called a nest, okay? The idea I was getting is of the word spider and Halloween. Guys, this is our nest. This is our eggs. Nest egg. Nest egg is what I want to say, okay? Here is the lunar eclipse, and that's going to be important, okay? That's, that's coming up upon us. So the root, let's see. I think it's the etymology. Um, of the word niche, okay? So I'm going to the etymology of the word niche. It's nest, you guys, but it's also this. A shallow recess in a wall. A recess, you guys. Recess has two meanings. Recess. Okay, you're taking a recess, okay? Recess for a dog. Because this time period that I'm seeing is all about the lunar eclipse. The wolf, the dog. Kennel for a dog is called a niche, you guys. Recess for a dog. Recess. Again, uh, a break, a vacation, okay? Perhaps from Italian, niche or nook. Nicchio, which is a seashell. This is the root idea of the word niche, you guys. Probably from Latin, the word is muscle. M-U-S-S-E-L. This is a mussel, you guys. It's a clam shell, a seashell, clam shell, with a pearl inside of it. This is your nest because this is where your immaculate conception takes place. Guys, your egg fertilized. This is a macula, which means immaculate conception, okay? This is your nest right here. Okay, the other idea here is napkin and mappa, okay? So a napkin, you guys, is an apron. You guys, an apron covers your private parts. I am seeing this clearly. An apron covers your, napkin is apron. Apron is something that covers your private parts, okay? Guys, MAPA is a map, okay? It's our X marks the spot. And what this is, you guys, is I'm, I'm going to give it to you in language because I just trust it so much, okay? Where is it? Okay, nest. Snug retreat, young bird, resting place. The dove lands. Okay. Okay, so you guys, in the word nest is the idea of a spider's nest. Now, when I went through my December 22nd 
and trance, trance, you guys, okay? At from 1.41 a.m. to 4.11 a.m. What I saw myself doing was, among many other things, I saw myself shooting out a web, okay? Shooting out a web. So you can think of spiders and Halloween because we know that around the lunar eclipse, the ghosts are coming out, okay? The word I was given after that experience on December 22nd, early in the morning, was the word trench. It turns out the word trench, one of its roots is the word spider. Okay, so this is the idea I was getting as I was doing this study on the word niche. So I then, I looked up the word trench, okay, the spider's nest, okay. Track cut through a wood, long, narrow ditch, a slice, a gash, a cut, a defensive ditch to carve which is to engrave, to mark, um, to cut, to slice, to maim, to mutilate, to cut off, to cross over, pass through, and overcome. Trench. This is a slice, a cut, a gash, a slash. It is a tear, virgins. Okay. The root word of the word trench is the word truncate. To cut off, to maim, to mutilate, you guys. This is also I'm going to say it's the day of remembrance because you lost your members, guys. Your limbs were cut off. And the idea I'm getting here is your limbs will be put back on. And it's in the language because one of the words here, it to recess, you guys, is to withdraw. To withdraw is to retire. To retire is to be a martyr, okay? To be a martyr is to be a witness, and to be a witness is to record, and to record is to remember. What is going on here? Truncate, you guys. The idea of Again, cross over, pass through, and overcome. And in the dictionary, guys, to shorten, to cut short, mathematical, to shorten a number by dropping a digit. A digit is a finger. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, this is a countdown of some sort, okay? And this is cutting off the tip of the shell, the spiral shell, okay? The words are in here. You're just going to have to trust me, you guys. To blunt the tip of the seashell. The seashell is our golden ratio, you guys. 
our golden ratio is a very, very high mark bar, says the spirit, a very, very high bar to reach. So God is shortening the days, truncating the top of the seashell, lowering the bar a bit for the golden ratio so that more people can reach it. He is shortening the days for his elect, lest no flesh be saved. Shortening the days for his elect, lest no flesh be saved. Okay, so thank you, God. The bar is very, very high. He's lowering the bar so that more people can be saved, you guys. And you are nesting because there is a baby coming early, mothers. This is, this is true in all of human nature and animal nature too. You nest before the child is born. There's a child coming a bit prematurely. He is shortening the days for his elect. Okay. You can call it conception, you guys. It's all of these processes, so many processes that we have seen. And this nest egg is the same thing as the butterfly effect because that is what the butterfly, butterfly effect was all about. It was about the idea that a man had put all these numbers into a machine chaotic random numbers in order to get a result. But instead of putting, for instance, one, the golden ratio, I don't even know what it is, you guys, 1.6 something, 1.6789011, 9, guys. The butterfly effect means that he went from 1.6789 to one point seven. He rounded up, rounded up, you guys, meaning he will include more. Okay. Rounding up. And guys, what's the idea of rounding up? It's the gathering. He is gathering his people from the four corners. Guys, the four winds, the four corners, the rook and the castle. The castle, the fortification, guys, the fortification sits at the four corners of the chessboard. The rook is the bird of prey which is a kite, which is a chariot. Okay. Which is Mercury, which is Jesus. Four corners. This is where the rooks normally sit. Okay. God is shortening the days for his elect. We knew we were going to come out prematurely when that entrance, you guys, is the worm hole. It's the birth canal. Prepare because there's a baby coming early. And guys, this doesn't mean it does not negate anything that we've seen for 411 for any of the stuff that's on the other side of Easter. Okay. It's just, I feel like there's something major happening, guys. 
now. Okay, so we'll wait and see what this looks like. But what I believe it is, is a covering. This is a shelter. This is a protection. And we already know what that is. It's our garment of praise. And I feel like in this time period, you need to adjust to your garment of praise. So the root word of truncate is the word lop. Okay, one of the root words of truncate is lop. Guys, lop is leap, is loop, is lupus, lupercalia, leprechaun. Leap. And the way icing means tipping, tipping, guys, cutting the tip off the golden ratio seashell, the, the top. Okay. Again. Okay. And this is a beautiful thing. It's what I was seeing in this is Iceman, Maverick, and Ace, the Top Gun, okay? And Leap is here, Salt is here, Paradise Found is here, Glimpse of Heaven is here. We, we're, when you're watching this video, we're right here. And I believe this Purim and Lunar Eclipse skies, there's something special coming, okay? Loop is the key word. It's L-O-U-P. Okay. Napkin is the one of the root words, you guys. Half the face. Okay. But it's like for a split second, we get to tear the veil. Okay. Glimpse of heaven. That's all. See you in the next one. One more thing, guys. The idea that I get with this is a nest egg. A nest egg is an investment. An invest. The word vest, again, is vestido, vestal. It means to dress and to cover. It's your shelter and your covering, okay? It's also, I believe... And sconce, you're hiding yourself for a little moment. Hiding yourself for a little moment, you guys, while the indignation be overpassed. Now, the word indignation is the scorpion sting. It's a scorpion sting. Okay, meaning it pierces through. There's a pierce through. Whatever the indignation is, is a piercing through the veil for us. Okay, then just like I said in the other video, the 11th looks like a full reveal. Okay, not just a hole, but a complete, you know, opening of things, the full glory or something, guys. Okay, this is a pierce through. Okay. Um, there's, there's some gift coming and you need to adapt to it. And that's why you're going to be nesting. Okay, 
You're going to hide yourself for a little moment. Okay. Okay. I'll see you in the next one.